Okay, we're going to show you guys how to use the BMS communication between the LifePower 4 version of our batteries and the GrowWatt inverters. I've got a 12 kilowatt inverter located on the bench here, and uh, we're just going to do a quick walkthrough. So the main differences between this and the uh, Eagle batteries, uh, the address switch has got to be set to zero as your master, which is just all four switches flipped down. Now you can use either right or left port on the RS-45 to come out with your ethernet cable, but this will be your master. Now, if you had multiple batteries, they would just be daisy chaining from this extra port to the next battery. And the main thing you have to keep in mind with that as well is that no other battery should have an address conflict. So this one is address zero, all four switches down. Any other batteries need to have different addresses on them. You never want address conflicts. The other thing to keep in mind on top of that is that uh, uh, if you set the address to address zero, uh, you may have to reboot your battery in order for that address to take. Whenever you change addresses, you can't just flip switches and the address is different. You've got to actually turn the battery on and off. So if I had a second battery and it was at zero and I didn't want to create conflict, I'll change my, all my addresses and then reboot all my batteries. So always reboot your battery after you've got the address set the way you want it, just for precautions, just turning the power switch on and off uh, and letting it boot cycle. So anyway, I've got the battery powered on right now and we're gonna communicate into the 12 kilowatt grow inverter. Now, the 12 kilowatt versus the five kilowatt have a couple different ports going into them. The uh, 12 kilowatt says BMS and RS-485. On the five kilowatt, you're gonna see CAN and RS-485. For the 12 kilowatt and 6 kilowatt inverters of their class, the transformer type, you're communicating with the BMS port. For the 5 kilowatt inverter and any of the other stackable inverters, you are communicating with the RS-45 port. The RS-45 port is wrong on the 12 kilowatt, it is right on the stackable inverters. That is the port that you're going to use to communicate. So the other thing that you'll always want to think about as well is our CAN hub that we have. If you had multiple stackable inverters, you could just plug in each inverter to that hub. It's 29 bucks. You'd plug in the batteries into the hub and then every inverter into the hub. And that was in our other uh, video as well for the stackable units. So anyway, we're going to head this into the BMS port on the 12 kilowatt. I'm going to go ahead and power this inverter on. If we take a look at what's going on on the screen here, Okay, so I've already set this, but you'll see what happens is all of a sudden that lithium battery populated. My battery's at 75%, and now the inverter sees the battery as a percent instead of a voltage. Um, if you hold down on enter, and you go up to setting five, my battery setting is lithium. So by default, it's probably not, but if you go set it to lithium, you then get to a screen that has your protocol number and then your actual setting number. We want it set to L01. That's the only one that will work. Now on the five kilowatt, you're looking at the protocol being 36 on the side instead of 51. Um, these, this protocol number isn't changeable. As you can see, I try to adjust it, it won't adjust. So um, it just happens to be there. And we've changed it, and it took the setting, and we're communicating. So that's really it. To recap, make sure your master battery is set to address zero. If you're going into a 12 kilowatt, make sure you're communicating with the BMS port on the 12 kilowatt. If you're going into a 5 kilowatt, make sure you're communicating with the RS-45 port. If you have multiple 5 kilowatts, make sure you get a hub to communicate each inverter into the hub, and then communicate the battery into that hub as well so that we can distribute the pa the communication cables coming from the batteries and that's really how simple that it is everything else is good to go you'll be able to see all of your battery history on your monitoring and a percentage you'll be able to set all of your to grid and back from grid or your charge levels all based on percentages and that's going to be a much more intelligent experience with your batteries you'll really be able to leverage the power of the lithium technology better with this communication in a